They started as an industry disruptor in avionics. We're going to find out who on this episode of In the Hangar. Hello, welcome to In the Hangar, special In the Hangar from Air Venture. I'm Dan Milliken. And I'm Christy Wong. We are on location at the Flying Eyes booth where you can get our sunglasses. 10% discount if you use our code, taking off all caps. One word. And <laughs> for those watching this online and we're well after Air Venture, visit the FlyingEyesOptics.com and still use our code for that 10% off. We're also brought to you by Clemens Insurance, ClemensInsurance.net. Jerry there has saved me like over $1,000 on my insurance. I've been Lola. told. Yeah. It's, Absolutely. It's great stuff. Well, speaking about saving money, we've got you avionics in the house. They, in the hangar. In the hangar. In the hangar. They have saved a lot of people money. So Britt and Ryan, thanks for coming, guys. Great to be here. Thanks for having us. Okay. So let's start off. Um, everybody, you guys have created a brand for having, when that ADSB mandate came out and mandated to all these plane owners have to drop, you know, Ten thousand dollars on you know some big huge thing transponder that's got to do transponder things. That, yeah. yeah, that you guys came up with a good solution. So tell us about how you got started. Sure, we started making avionics and technology solutions so that drones didn't hit airplanes. So okay, we nice. started the wow. company uh, as technologists essentially who are trying to solve these problems of how we integrate drones more into the airspace and trying to figure out maybe how you don't hit a tree, right? Something simple. Right. But most of us were pilots, and we said, well, there's a bigger problem really to address here, and ADS-B was the natural solution to that. Yeah, planes hitting airplanes, other airplanes, yeah. is, a, is a big it, problem as well. It's bigger than the drones, even. Yeah. 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 That's, and so we, we said we're going to take this a step further. Uh, we're going to figure out how we can uh, certify these type of products how we can bring them not only to really small aircraft like drones, but how we can bring them up into the general, general aviation fleet. Uh, and we did that with a product that became known as Sky Beacon and Tail Beacon. They've been massively successful. I think about uh, probably half the aircraft on the field here are equipped with, with one of those solutions. And it really brought down that cost for everybody. And it was a journey to get there, right? It's uh, going through the process of a new startup company, uh, learning how to certify products, manufacture products, uh, bring in those quality systems and everything that you need uh, to you know, bring that safety. But it's, it's really part of our DNA. We want safety in the skies and we want everything that flies to be able to communicate with each other. So where did that come from, the UAVionics? Well, you can't see it on this, but sometimes it's colored a little differently. And uh, first three letters there, UAV, uh, unmanned aerial vehicle. Ah. Um, it also was originally a MU, it was microavionics. So we're not the best at marketing always, although Britt is our VP of marketing. Yeah, thanks, Ryan. I like that, though. Yeah. I, I so, like Britt, the... you're in charge of marketing. So, uh... Yeah, I'm working on that. So uh, UAvionics is out there. It's taken a few years, but the, the more we say it, the more we talk about it. And, yeah. and really, we've shifted from this UAV focus to the GA focus. And as you said earlier, we're well known for bringing ADS-B to, to everyone who wants to fly. What's the main difference between the, the tail beacon and the sky beacon? Mm -hmm. So. Sky beacon mounts on the wing, tail beacon mounts on the tail. Other okay, than that, fairly. they're really functionally equivalent. But okay. we have another product called Tail Beacon X that is an international product. So Sky Beacon and Tail Beacon were specifically made for the U.S. market. So they use a technology called UAT. Uh, it makes it really easy to retrofit, and you can drop it into your aircraft with almost no installation cost, right? It's simply replacing a light. And that was the real innovation. Because we had things that were small, lightweight, low power that we were designing for drones, we were able to pack a lot of technology into a sky beacon and a tail beacon and basically put it in the light bulb right. uh, for these aircraft. So the, new, the next generation that we've introduced is called Tail Beacon X, and that's worldwide. So we started oh, with cool. a domestic footprint here, and now we're going around the world. Yeah, now and we that, can go to Canada. Canada, that's the big one. You've, you hit the nail on the head. Because a lot of the newer systems out there, a lot of the countries are requiring you to be seen from space. So oh, instead wow. of deploying a billion dollars of ground infrastructure, they're using satellites, which makes a lot of sense, especially a country like Canada. Unfortunately, not every system can support that. Right. So Tail Beacon X is designed specifically to do that. And it's part of our broader strategy 
to bring new technology and to bring things that nobody else maybe has thought of. I heard that you guys are actually moving inside the cockpit. You want to talk about that? Sure. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so uh, the you know the progression once we had the, the tail beacon, sky beacon, and the like, uh, we were able to start bringing things into the display market, so you could actually control those things outside. So we have a premier product called the AV30, uh, which allows you to either have an attitude indicator or directional gyro. Uh, and part of the show we're really excited about here is actually introducing new accessories for that that allow integration for IFR, allow integration with autopilots, things that many of our customers have been asking about for several years. Uh, those take time to develop and we've got some exciting products to show uh, and even some new, uh, I'll call them electromechanical retro pilots as well that are coming onto the market. Oh, that's interesting. And we also manufacture the Sentry line of products, which are a very popular portable system uh, that we market with ForeFlight. Uh, and those products integrate as well with uh, the panel mount products, the display products uh, that we're talking about there. So what we're really trying to do is create an open, connected cockpit. Uh, not have something that's closed off to only UAVionics equipment, but something that really integrates everything that you have. Might be a 30-year-old piece of equipment you have in your cockpit. We want to work with that. And that's, that's a big cool. piece of what we're doing different. OK, so you have flight, con flight displays now in mm -hmm. the cockpit. Do you also have navigation and autopilots? We interface with a variety of autopilots. We interface with pretty much any IFR navigator that's out there, Garmin, Avidyne, whoever it might be. Um, we have GPSs that are built into all of our ADS-B systems, but we don't quite take to the level yet of having to okay. be a full-blown navigator. Are you heading there? What? <laughs> no can Trade you, secrets. Can you talk about what's coming next, or? Well, really, what we're showing here is, uh, you know, it's hot off the press. It's the first time we're showing it at the show. Uh, one of those products is called the RetroPilot, which Britt just alluded to, and that's a retrofit autopilot. And that retrofit autopilot attaches to your yoke and flies the airplane. And oh, that wow. ties in with the AV30, of course, which is our primary flight display. So you can drive the airplane from that, from your IFR navigator, from even your iPad. So it, it creates a lot of, again, capability for a very low installation cost. We're showing that for the first time here. People are really excited about it. It's one of those solutions that you see for the first time and you kind of giggle, right? It's like, why didn't anybody think of this? And that's the same thing that we saw when we came here with the Sky Beacon and Tail Beacon. And it's the same thing we saw when we came here with a product called Ping Buddy, which was our very first thing we ever showed here, which was a really small ADS-B receiver. Wow. So we've had, I think, three of those moments now over the last six years at Oshkosh of people r showing up, looking at a product, and laughing. And that's a good <laughs> laugh, not a bad laugh, we always right. say. Gets back to your disruptive comment earlier, right? We're yeah. always looking forward on the innovation and another product talked about bringing ADS-B into the cockpit and that situational awareness for safety. We also have Sky Sensor. So Sky Beacon was the ADS-B out on the wingtip. Sky Sensor is the complement. It's the other wingtip and it's bringing ADS-B in. And then through the collaboration we do with Sentry and others, that ADS-B traffic can be either shown on the AV30 or on a DFB that's on your D. So we can really provide that pilot that's in a GA aircraft, an older one for that matter, with the full capability they might find in a larger one. Holly, what will they think of next? Well, your flight displays, uh, so they're experimental only? No, they're, they are certified. Uh, oh, wow. They wow. are STC PMA certified uh, for a very large approved model list. Uh, that's so, so my 210 could take the uh, absolutely PFD. light singles and twins essentially wow uh, a really really good approved model list there so the warrior Easy installation. for example hint hint warrior <laughs> plenty of those uh and it, you know what we do the typical installation is two of them it's going to replace your attitude indicator and your dg because those are the things that were gyro driven that needed your vacuum system so if you want to get that 40 plus pounds of useful load back pull out that vacuum system, that unreliable vacuum system. It's, it's, there's actually a good ROI for doing this because as folks know, one rebuild of one of those systems can cost you as much as equipping with a whole new electronic system that has a lot more capability and a lot more safety. I've been on the fence. I still have a vacuum pump in my airplane. I still have the DG and, and every, like, you know, it's all, all the vacuum instruments. And I've been, it's taken me a long time and I'm still debating, do I just, bite the bullet and spend fifteen to twenty thousand dollars to add like G5s because that's how much it's costing now with the installation and everything. Like what do I go with? AV30. Uh, so, I think yeah, you'll I find the installation say. is you know simpler, easier, lower cost. Uh, the products are about two thousand dollars each. 
Okay. Uh, plus, well, you know, I, I, that was the thing you said ROI. You said cost. Yeah. Let's get into real numbers. If Christy was to have that put into her plane, what is she looking at cost-wise? You'll have to go talk to your shop um, and and see, but uh, you're probably going to get the whole thing installed with with two units for seven thousand dollars, wow. perhaps less. But you know, so it, it depends on installed? it depends. Yeah, it depends on how much work you're, you're going to be doing, how right. many systems you're interfacing with. You know, a lot of shops, rightfully so, want to replace a lot of the wiring uh, that you may have because. It, might not be the best. So it just depends how much work is required there. So right. your mileage the, may the vary. The installation is very quick and easy, though. It's a pedostatic connection, which you already exactly. typically have back right. there. I have uh, one of those. And, and, and power. Power, power right. and ground. So it can be that simple. Or if you want to hook it to, we have uh, remote magnetometers you can hook to. If you want to hook to your GPS systems, if you want to hook to autopilots, there's, there's more uh, things that you may need to wire up. And there's accessories that we offer, things to like bring traffic in over Wi-Fi to it. So, uh, you know, you could probably outfit from as low as, you know, $3,000 for one up to you probably spend $10,000 if you wanted to hook all yeah, kinds of things up with a lot of accessories. not much for right. Not in the grand scheme no. of that. So hey, not compared to the others. If they want to outfit the Warrior, yeah. I mean, yeah. I could always bring it up here and be a display airplane. I'm just throwing it out there. The, the <laughs> ROI really is great on it because <laughs> the cost, they, they say the average rebuild on a vacuum is about 500 hours, right? It's, right, yeah. And, and the instruments themselves... Confirm of course, require constant maintenance as well. They do. Uh, these digital systems really do not, are not subject to those those same mechanical wear points. So it's it's really a good system. You get them in, they're, they're about an inch and a half thick, right? They have backup batteries for IFR. Uh, they're really an all-in-one system that you wouldn't believe how much you're pulling out of your aircraft. My last question, are you guys still in the drone industry? We are. We so are. do you see, uh, drones all getting ADSB? We see all drones having ADSB receive. We're the largest manufacturer of ADSB equipment in the world by a long shot, and we manufacture a lot of receive systems so that those drones can see the manned aircraft flying around. Uh, we also manufacture s transmitters, uh, and those typically will go on larger, higher flying aircraft. We do a lot of work with everything from uh, stratospheric high altitude balloons all the way to kind of longer range what they would call beyond visual line of sight uh, drones doing maybe a pipeline inspection those type of aircraft have ADS-B out when you get down to a small quadcopter it's probably overkill right uh, but we want all of those to have the ability to receive see aircraft and get out of the way yeah also, I agree uh, with that work in the, in the data side right it's a matter of tying these two or, or two communities together and so we have the ability to receive the ADS-B data from those drones and actually rebroadcast it back to the aviation community writ large. We're also working with the FAA, and we have something called Ping RID, uh, which meets the FAA's recent remote ID requirement that's coming out in September timeframe. So operators that have that requirement can come to us and get aviation grade uh, remote ID as well. And that's all about tying that ecosystem together. So you know, we say connecting everything that flies and improving safety, that's our goal. I like it. I love it too. And really it's brought the cost down for the GA pilot. That's one thing when we first co started coming to the shows and they'd say, oh, you're, you're a drone company. Yeah. As we made that transition, people realized mm -hmm. it was about how do we get that technology in the cockpit? And it's really hard to do with a, with a population of aircraft that's limited size, right? We, there's hundreds of thousands of manned aircraft, but there's hundreds of millions of drones out there. And that's where those cost benefits really come in. And we've been able to do that. That's why Skybeacon exists. That's why Tailbeacon exists. It's because we were able to amortize that development cost out over a much larger population. Uh, and we've sold hundreds of thousands of ADSB systems. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming. And man, I've learned a lot about um, Uaviani, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have to talk more about the Warrior because I'm, I'm genuinely intrigued now. Beautiful. Outstanding. All right, and thank you guys for watching. And all this is brought to you by our sponsors. Um, other sponsors we have are like 67 Designs, the best camera, tablet, and phone mounts for your cockpit. We've got Marshall Protective Services and PSProtects.com. We've got Z-Vision, the brightest landing and taxi lights that are out there. And Colton Mortgage for your residential mortgage need. Colton taking off. Like, subscribe, share our content, and we'll see you guys next time. In the hangar.